Well, it's absolutely amazingly good news to be hearing that the Guild is back on after the hiatus that almost everything in the Isle of Man has had over the last two years. Uh, with me, though, is John Owen Jones, who is a very well-known gentleman on the stage. And I love it. You're, you're coming over here. You're going to do a bit of, um, I think, teaching as well, but you're going to be judging and, well, performing, which is what everyone wants to see. Uh, greetings and uh, welcome. Is it your first trip to the Isle of Man when you come over? It is my very first trip to the Isle of Man. And... Like a lot of people, I'm sure, tell you that, I mean, I've wanted a visit for a long time, but I've never really had the opportunity. I've got some friends there, um, but I think one of the main reasons I haven't visited is my wife's ex-boyfriend lives there. So uh, I don't want to cross paths. But um, who knows? I mean, maybe he'll be, maybe I'll be judging him in the competition. Or <laughs> well, maybe he'll be throwing something at you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay. Um, well, I mean, I, I won the prize in the end, didn't I? So. Indeed. Uh, just just remind people about your, your theatrical career particularly. It's, you've, I mean, Les Mis and all that, it's just a dream ticket, yeah. isn't it, what you've been doing? Well, I mean, I've been working in the West End and on Broadway uh, for well over 20 years now. I mean, I started off um, working in the ensemble in Les Miserables uh, when it was at the Palace Theatre back in 1995. And I've moved up the ranks. I played Jean Valjean. Uh, I played Valjean twice on Broadway. Um, I played him in the UK tour, um, in France, in Paris, in Dubai. Um, and, you know, I've also played the Phantom in the Phantom of the Opera. In fact, I was the youngest ever actor to play Jean Valjean. And then I became the longest running Phantom in the show's West End history. So, you know, I've had a, a long and, and I would say healthy career in the West End and on Broadway. But um, over the last few years, of course, with the pandemic and everything like that, I've very much switched over into concerts and you know, recordings and things like that. So, um, yeah, I've been I've been pretty busy, uh, which is another reason why I probably haven't visited the Isle of Man until now. Tell us, though, when you're here, what will you be doing exactly? Well, I'll be performing at the Villa Marina uh, as part of the Cleveland uh, Medal. Um, I'll be judging uh, um, and I'll be performing. And then on the Saturday, that's on the, sorry, that's on the 29th of April. That's Friday, the 29th of April. I'll be performing. And then on the Saturday, I'll be holding a masterclass with um, students of musical theatre um, on the Isle of Man, uh, giving them my tips and knowledge about how the business works. So it's going to be a very packed itinerary, but hopefully a lot of fun. Uh, I mentioned like we haven't had the Guild for a couple of years. How were you affected? We, did, did it really mess up your uh, finances and uh, gigging? Oh, absolutely. Um, I, I was very lucky in the fact that, you know, I built up savings over the years. They've now gone completely after the last couple of years but I lost all my work um, for two years um, my wife's a school teacher so we still had some income um, but otherwise it was a barren desert you know and I, I know a lot of my friends have given up the industry um, it was just too much for them to tip them over the edge um, but I feel very sorry particularly for, for all the students and the youngsters coming into the industry it's a tough business to be in at any point but certainly it's really hard to begin at the moment. So hopefully when I come over to the Isle of Man and I give tips and, and uh, tricks to the youngsters I'll be given a masterclass to, that will help them on their way, uh, you know, into the business. And I'm sure like you've done these many times before, have you actually met some people you've gone, wow, you really, really have got a talent? Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it's such a difficult industry. When I was training as an actor at the drama school, uh, I definitely wasn't the best. Um, I wasn't the worst, but uh, some of the better people than me um, didn't last in the industry at all. You know, it's it's very much a combination, not just talent, but hard work, perseverance, having thick skin and a bit of luck. You need all those rolled into one combination and then you can maybe make a living out of it. You know, um, one very talented person I've worked with is actually, well, two from the Isle of Man, actually. I've worked with Samantha Barks, who I'm sure you are aware of. Samantha Barks, very famous Isle of Man export. And the, the extraordinary voice of a girl called Helen Power, who will be my special guest um, on Friday night uh, at the Cleveland Medal Performance. Um, she and I work together in Japan. She's got a fantastic voice. Um, and yet she doesn't work as often as one would like. You know, she's incredibly talented. But uh, I'm delighted to be singing with her. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun at the Isle of Man. But it is also that kind of thing where... You know, when you perform in front of a new audience, as I'm sure a lot of the people there won't know who I am, um, you know, you have to bring your A-game. 
And, you know, I've learned how to perform in concert a lot. now. So I'm looking forward to very much trying to convince people that I belong on that stage uh, uh, on Friday night. Right. And just finish with it will be uh, show tunes, a uh, combination of things. What, how do you describe it? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously I've made a, a living out of performing in musicals, so it'll be a majority of, of, of songs will be show tunes. There might be one or two other things thrown in there. I'm still looking at the set list. I'll also be travelling with my regular musical director, um, a guy called John Quirk, who I've known since I was 16, and we play uh, gigs together all over the world, so we're very much looking forward to working with him uh, because, as you say, the pandemic has really, you know, knocked a hole, not just in the business, but in the relationships you build up. So I'm looking forward forward to rekindling my working relationship with John and seeing Helen again and performing um, a mixture of tunes. You better check with John by the way his surname Quirk is a very Manx name by the way I don't know if you know that. Is it really? Yeah he might have some heritage yeah. Mm. I mean obviously he's born and bred in Wales so it's a very unusual name in Wales so maybe he has got Manx heritage and that'll be interesting maybe he'll have like you know relatives turning up at the gig well, we wish you uh, an absolutely fantastic time. And uh, I guess um, if there's any tickets, we'll put the details here at the Villa Gerti website if people want to get a hold of that. And uh, good luck with all what's coming up and uh, hopefully one of many more visits to the Isle of Man. Oh, I, I certainly hope so. I certainly hope so. I'm really excited by it. Can't wait. <laughs>